Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and tonight is another matchup. It's the Saturday Primetime Edition, as we will have another look in between of the NHL matchups. This time, it's about to go down. A Canadian matchups in between Winnipeg Jets and Edmonton Oilers. The couple players of the batter team that made a terrific, outstanding look in between by the wheels, but they were giving things off in between by the two. First, we have this Kyle Connor, then we have this Connor Hallebuyck, then Mark Skyfeller. Uh, Sky the only one player from the Jets really got a good look of Kyle Connor. He has got wheels. Because of his point, he was really that fast at giving things up to a good look of ability. And he's definitely got a good look of it on his own. Well, we might see what he's going to do, if he can try to fix that one up. On the other side, we have this Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. The only two that they have for the Oilers was the McDavid and Dreisaitl. These two only have the better plays that they have it from here for the Superstar Factors. With wheels and tape to tape feed, they could be a lot that hard if you get this thing up to a world. Now I will send you over to Roger's place where Gra Bryant and Jay Skrabalski with just another good look on the next commentary. Greg Farrell and Jay Skrabalski along with Kelly. So, it's time now to see what could it be. Guys, all yours. Enjoy your Canadian matchup, folks. Season score by number 56, Killer Yamamoto. It's for assist to my number 23, Hale Costin. And by number 23, Leon Tricycle. Time of the goal of the game for Kel Yamamoto. 2 40 during in the first period. Possession. Hot across the blue line. And he makes the save. Call the point. Let's make something happen. 
inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Oilers have taken a one nothing lead. Lowry's won the draw. Bouchard's moving the puck through his own zone. Edmonton stunned along the wall. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Connects with the long Winnipeg goal. It is first goal of the season. Score by number 81, Kyle Connor. Time of the goal, 8 minutes 44 seconds for Kyle Connor. On the fast break here in the first period. Thank 
first goal. His first goal of the season score by number 47, Warren Foyle. Yeah. Time and a goal. 13 25 for, for Warren Foyle. Here for the first period of rebounding in the game for the Oilers. First, the first period. to play in a period. The 
Jets will play to their own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Edmonton's going to hold it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to McLeod. Passes it to Hyman. Goes around along the half wall. First goal of the season, scored by number two, Ed Butcher. His first assist here by number 20, Leon Dreisaitl. And by number 15, oh man, Jordan. Out of the goal for Trevor Chord. 4.56 remaining in the second period of the shot on goal. by number 71, Axel John Hansen Kelly. As very assisted by number 89, Salsa Gavner. Time to go for Axel John Hansen Kelly. 6.58 remaining in the second period of the game. Davis into the offensive zone now on the attack. Edmonton's got the puck against 
Last minute of play in the period. Edmonton penalty for fighting Darnell Nurse. Time of the penalty, 51 seconds in this second period. Winnipeg penalty for the Jets. Roman for five minutes for fighting. Time of the penalty, 51 seconds in this second period. Final period left. Let's see how it is. Thank you. 
What is that goal? His first goal of the season scored by number 55, Mark Steifler. Time of the goal, celebrates Mark Steifler. 7.55 remaining in the third period. One bigger shot here on goal two for the Winnipeg Jets. And, for, and 65 shots here on goal for the Edmonton Oilers in the third period.
This could be it. We all know what's going to happen. Edmonton penalty number four inches here. No, uh, Paulie Harvey. Two minutes for for tripping. Time and penalty. Forty six seconds in the third period. seconds. Winnipeg goal. A second goal of the season. Score by number one, you know, O'Connor. Time of the goal. 1945, 1949 seconds remaining in the third period. This has been a tremendous part here in the Canadian team matchoffs. This team is no harder like anybody does. But to tell you what they all done, this was a harder play that they did before and after the point of the shots on goal. Nothing to compare it extractly, but it never really caught on by the one of each players that done it the most was Leon Dreisaitl, Darnell Nurse, then Yoke Yamamoto, or any kind of player that definitely did it at all. Or it could have been other players here for the Winnipeg Jets. That really turned out to be very hard on the luck. I mean, there's no questions to ask about that one here, but there isn't anything to talk about what did happen. We only saw one shorthanded goal for that one. And I'm going to tell you now, that was Warren Fogel. 
I just really noticed that it was all that did happen. Not really showing it, assuming it what was going to happen like that. But to tell you what all it did happen, it really did. Now, the overtime, first time here, coming in for the regulation of the period. They might be harder than you're thinking, but how could this be happening? Well, it may be on top of all questions to consider what will happen now. Now it's time to see who will win the next game. Oilers or Winnipeg Jets? The decision starts now. Last minute to play in overtime period. Conduced 
with one of the best plays. Oilers and Jets. Let's have your free star looks at players of the game. The third star goes to Kaylin Yamamoto with a goal and assist. Really well played. Back in and put a rebound in it to try to lift it off the net. The second star goes to Kyle Connor with two goals and two hits. Really did want to try that one to give it a payback and definitely had a power play goal for once. And your first star goal, thanks to Warren Fulgel, he got two goals and a hit. Well, Faze out there really wanted to show what he could definitely try to hit off the target. So, it's been a tremendous part of the game. I'm going to tell you now, this was the biggest part of the game that everybody really loves about Canadian team matchups. That's very tough to tell you about that one here. Oilers and Jets are very tough teams to play for the clutch that one. They could be rivals there too. But don't give me a mind because they really have done it too much recently. And for sometimes I will, well, <laughs> uh, it may not be anyway. So I'm not going to try to keep it over with anyway. So at that point, I'd like to thank you all for watching. 5-4 is your final score. A lot of great passing. 76% and 91%. I mean, this is a very increase in decreasing. 23 face-off wins for the Jets, 9 for Edmonton, 32 shots on goal for the Jets, and 56 shots on goals for Edmonton Oilers. The hits was 22, and Edmonton was 18. Very so much time on attacks was 15-52, but I'm trying to like put it around the deck out there. And 346 was definitely only the Jets to try to slow the deck down. Really not well enough to try to get over it, but really had to happen. So the power play goal was only turned out to be Winnipeg Jets. Penalty minutes was definitely five minutes for the Jets and seven minutes for the Edmonton Oilers. After the fighting was definitely put up, but now two minutes to play added up with the penalty kill. And only one power play goal was the Winnipeg Jets. And short-handed goal definitely did turn out to be for the Edmonton Oilers. Well done with that one with the two players. Stay tuned for the next game. We got the Sabres and the Stars at American Airlines Center in Dallas. The next commentary matches uh, that I will be hosting is Mephone. And I will be definitely taking it over here in the center. Not center, but um, with all the side that I report. And the center ice will be OJ. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. And make sure you check in with other videos here on the NHL on EA Sports in the My Playlist section below. We'll see you again next time for another next part of the game. We would like to ask you to please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, we'll beat you out and take away your puck and get a goal from you if you don't score and subscribe. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to mix it up a bit, okay? But anyway, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again next time. Out of here, Son of Beast is gone. He saw every one for a while as the NHL on the A Sports Star. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.